See, I told you things happen on Friday. <clears throat> this is Friday's movies. Movies that I watched this week. So, let's get on it. Watched a couple of movies on uh, Rogers. That's a Rogers movie channel here. TV, Crave TV it's called now. Anyway, it's still Rogers. So, I watched Eddie and the Cruisers. You know, you guys remember Eddie and the Cruisers. You know, a big soundtrack album that they had in 83. A lot of good music on it and great soundtrack. Anyway, I watched that. Uh, 20 years after the lead singer disappears, you know, he goes off and disappears. Uh, they were looking for the lost tapes. The, the band made, uh, you know, tapes, right? And um, they disappeared and nobody knows where they are. So the thing is that he's uh, come back, he's got the hits on the radio again, you know, people are listening to the Eddie and the Cruisers uh, the music again, and uh, there's people going around interviewing the old band members, stuff like that, and they're trying to find, the thing is they're looking for the lost tapes. So that's the whole idea of the movie. Do they find the lost tapes and what happened to Eddie? I think there's another movie too, wasn't there? Eddie, I think, wasn't there another movie? I think there was another movie. <coughs> I just thought about that now. But Eddie and the Cruisers, 1983. <coughs> that's what happens when you don't talk so much. You got, I give it a seven. It's a good, while uh, a movie. It's a lot of good music in it too. And the other one I watched was, hopefully I say this right. <coughs> Jeez. Sicario, Day of Sodalto. The FBI starts a war with the Mexican drug cartel. There's a lot going on in this movie. You have to pay real close attention. Sometimes you don't know who the bad guys are and the good guys are, or who was a bad guy and who was a good guy now. <laughs> so, I'm still confused a little bit about this one, but that stars Josh Brolin and Vinicio Del Toro. Yeah, they were both in the first one, uh, the Sicario movie. This one's not bad, but you got to pay close attention to it. Sometimes you get it's a little confusing. Confusion? No, a little confusing in it. But it's all right, you know, it's good for a movie. I like it. There's a lot of action and a lot of machine guns going on. Stuff like that, regular action movie. It's a 7. 7 out of 10 for Sicario, Day of Sodaldo. All about the drugs, people. And this one here, I watched this. I actually watched <coughs> the Annabelle Horror. Uh, the, the Possession. Yeah, The Possession from 1982. And it stars a bunch of a family, a man and his wife. And uh, four, was it, four or five kids move into the, to the house. Yeah, and then uh, things start happening. A local priest comes to, uh, you know, bless the house. The woman wants the house blessed. Stuff like that. And anyway, all hell breaks loose. And the son, they have an older son. He's probably 17, maybe 18, something like that. And he he, he gets possessed. He's a freaking monster. He, he's an ugly looking fuck, right? So, yeah, so that's all about that. And that's from 82. So uh, he's a murderous demon bent on total destruction. So it was all right. You can watch it. It's worth a watch if you like those kind of movies. I thought it was fun. I give it a seven. It's just a seven, just a regular movie. And then I watched Adam Bell, Adam of Bell Three, The Demon, where uh, Tony Roberts, John Baxter, buys the place, settles into it, and next thing you know, a lot of people and members of his family, close uh, people close to him and stuff like that, right, start freaking dying. You know, it's a house. Something's going on in the house. Does the, is the house really the gateway to hell? Well, another movie that's all right. Uh, not in the right home, but, but you can watch it. It's fun, a little horror going on. And that's from 1983, and that gets a seven. That's about it. This one, Zulu, Zulu, from 1974, Michael Caine, and a lot of other English actors. Stanley Baker. Yes. It's right after... Oh, freaking now I forget the name of the place. Anyway, the English soldiers, the pseudos wipe out about 1,400 soldiers, everybody. They get just get totally run over. And then they're on their way. They're, they're on their way. They're coming to this little uh, lookout place. There's probably maybe 
I don't know, 100, 150 soldiers there, right? And there are Zulus, there's 4,000 Zulus, and they're on their way to attack the out, 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 output, or out place. It's not an outhouse. <laughs> anyway, they have to defend it, right? So all the British soldiers are there defending against 4,000 Zulus. And this is a very good movie. I like this one. I watched this a few times over the years, Zulu. I even think I've seen this one at the show. But I don't remember, but I think I did. So, Sulu, Michael Caine, 1964, and Stanley Baker. Yeah, do they survive? Does everybody die? Do the Sulus run them over? Yeah, you're going to have to watch the movie to find out. I give this one an 8. This is a very good movie. An 8. Zulu, from 1964. And this one, Gettysburg. 1993. Now, I went to the show and seen this with my wife. She was my wife at the time. You know, we were living together, so you put it that way. You know, you move in with each other and stuff like that. Yeah, I didn't get married to Kathy until the year 2000. But anyway, we both went and seen this movie because we both wanted to go see it. This I seen at Mount Pleasant Theater up in Young Street, close to uh, Rosedale area, up around Rosedale and Young Street. The big screen. It's a big screen. They even had... Uh, what is it? The balcony. You know, the balcony up above there, you know? Up, up in that area? Yeah. Where people used to smoke. But they... I don't even know if they smoked then. Did they smoke in 1993? Anyway, I find these movies... I got uh, Gettysburg. I have a few type of these movies. This is Gettysburg. Tom Berenger. Same guy that was in Eddie and the Cruisers. He's in this. Uh, and Jeff Daniels, right? He's in this too. A lot, a lot of other people. But at Gettysburg, find Gettysburg in the Civil War. Very interesting facts about life is that it was brother against uh, brothers, uh, father against son, mother against bro you know sons, and all that kind of stuff. Family thing. Uh, when they had to pick sides, one went off to fight for the Union Army, and one went off to fight for the Confederates. And this year, this time of year, in July, long weekend, they get a, into a big battle at Gettysburg. Very good movie. If you haven't seen Gettysburg, watch it. I'll probably watch it again next year, or maybe even less time. But Gettysburg, watch it. You'll like it. If you like anything about the Civil War, watch Gettysburg. James Cagney and George Raft. Humphrey Bogart, um... Uh, Loved George Raft because all the George Raft, uh, the, they offered George Raft movies, and he, when he uh, declined them all, Humphrey Bogart stepped in for him. <laughs> anyway, this is uh, Each Dawn I Die. Yeah, um, James Cagney's character gets uh, kind of, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Well, he gets, he's, he's not guilty, right? They, they, they put him in a car. He works with a newspaper. They put him in, the bad guys put him in a car, turn the car on, right? And smash a ball of whiskey over his head and, or on the steering wheel, throw the, dump the whiskey all over and set the car going. And the car runs into the city streets and he, he uh, ends up killing three people. He ends up being found guilty and he gets sent to the slammer for 10 years. So he meets up with George Roth. And him and George Rapp becomes buddies, and they're trying to find out who set up uh, James Cagney. So uh, George Rapp's character gets, uh, you know, gets uh, broken out because he's in, uh, in um, what do you call it? Uh, um, is he? No, he's uh, the judge is sentencing him. Yeah, he's in the court. Breaks out, right? Jumps out the window and down to a truck waiting, and he finds out who uh, set up Cagney, and then he. Uh, well, that's the whole story. So you got, if you're going to watch the movie, you got to watch the movie. I can't go on anymore with that. So this is George Raft and uh, James Cagney, and this is from 1939. 1939 was a good year for making movies. Anyway, that's that one there. And it's got a whole bunch of stuff on this. Order Night at the Movies, Vintage Newsreel. Well, all, you know, stuff like that. It's all, all good stuff. But anyway, there's a good movie about Jimmy Cagney and George Rapp, Each Dawn I Die. It's an 8 out of 10. 
death proof. This is hilarious. <laughs> this is a riot. Yeah. What's this word? You know, uh, what's his name? Tarantino? Yeah, Quinn Tarantino is one of his movies, Death Proof. It's got, uh, uh, what's his name in it? Uh, Kurt Russell driving around in his muscle car, right? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, this is, uh, yeah, driving around in his muscle car. And he uh, he chases after girls and he you know he, he, he one of the scene he kills four girls in a in a car takes the top right off the car and they're all dead. Then he decides you know a couple year and a half le year a year and a half later he gets into the same mess. He watches these girls and they're driving around in a car and all that. The only thing he forgot is sometimes you got to watch who you pick on in life, right? Cause sometimes you pick on the wrong fucking people. Right? But he, did, he didn't know that then. So this is a real good movie. This is a riot. This is a laugh. Yeah. If you haven't seen this one, go to watch it because it's, it's I, I thought it was funny in a round, roundabout way. Yeah. So watch who you're fucking with. Okay? So Death Proof, Quentin Tarantino. From what year was this? I got my glasses on and I still can't see it. Oh, 2007. Wow, that long ago? Yeah, I think it's a seven. Did I say a seven? It's all right. It's good for a laugh. Oh, this one, this one, this one. Independence Day. This is another fun movie. This is like a a popcorn movie. You know, popcorn, you get your Coke and your ice cubes and a straw and popcorn, and you're sitting there eating popcorn and sucking back a Coke. This is fun. Yeah. This is, you know, the freaking space invaders, you know. They're coming from Mars and are invading Earth and all that stuff, and... They're destroying everything. It's the end of the fucking world. I don't think any kids watch this video, do they? I hope not. Anyway, there you go. So that's uh, Independence Day. What's this, 20 years ago or so? They made another Independence Day a couple of years ago. That was all right, too. But this is a riot. This is fun. This is a fun movie. This, is a, this has got uh, Will Smith, Bill Pullman, Jeff Goldblum, Mary McDowell, Judd Hirsch, Judd Hirsch, I think Judd Hirsch steals the whole freaking movie. Yeah, he plays uh, Jeff Goldblum's dad. <laughs> yeah, he's a fun. He's it's fun. Great movie. I give it an eight just for the fun of it. Independence Day. Let's move it on, Bob. You're slowing down. Solace. 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 S O L A C E. How do you catch a serial killer who foresees the future? Anthony Hopkins. Colin Farrell. Now, let's be honest here. Colin Farrell doesn't appear in this movie until, I don't know, 20 minutes left or something like that, okay? So there's, uh, uh, who's in this? This is uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan. You know, as Negan in uh, The Walking Dead, he's in it. Yeah, he plays a good part. He's very good. In it. He's very good in it. So there you go. Uh, and Abby, Abby Cornish, she's another cop, FBI agent, I think. But there's people dying in this at the beginning, you know, they're like a serial killer, right? He stabs them in the back of the neck, right, you know, right there. They find them dead. But there's a lot more going on here just besides that. So that's where this doctor guy's come into, uh, you know, to effect. He, he can touch you and see things, right? See what's going on stuff. So, yeah, so they're trying to find the killer. But there's more to it than... This guy going around killing people. There's more to it. So you can watch this movie. This is a decent movie. Uh, seven out of a ten. It's a it's a decent movie. What year is this? Two thousand. Two thousand. What year is this? Two thousand. Fifteen. I don't know. Let's say two thousand fifteen. It's it's new. It's pretty new. Two thousand fifteen. So there you go. So did I, what did I say? Seven. Seven out of ten. Oh. And here we go, this one, Never Ending Story, from 1984, yeah, this one. When young Bastion borrows a mysterious, ordinary bound book, he, well, he borrowed it, but in a way he did, but the old guy didn't, you know, he borrowed the book from new, he was in a bookstore. Anyway, he runs away, he's, he's a bully, he's being bullied, so he goes and hides in this school room, or this janitor's room or something, he starts reading the book. Anyway, uh... Uh, what was I going to say now? So yeah, there's a little hero, a little boy with a with a horse and stuff, and he has to save uh, what is it, Fantasyland or whatever it's called. And this kid, the, the hero guy, gets to uh, ride on a 
Riding on a dragon that looks like a dog. It looks like my little dog I used to have, Angel. <laughs> but anyway, it's a fun movie from 84. The Never Ending Story. I think there was another Never Ending Story too. I don't, I'm not sure how many there was, but this is a good movie. A good, a good watch. It's, it gets a 7. 7 out of 10. Now, I don't know if I did this one before or not. It's over there in Nepal. So there's Liam Neeson again. And uh, it's called A Walk Among the Tombstones. So, yeah, I don't even know if I put this on a previous video or not. But anyway, yeah, so some guy, drug guy, uh, hires him to, so to find out if his uh, wife got, uh, how his wife got killed and stuff. And then there was another drug guy that, you know, they, they kidnapped his wife. So there's a couple of bad guys running around killing people and stuff and wanting money, but they don't want the cops involved. So it gets a 7 out of 10. It's a good story. It's worthwhile to watch. And that's my movies I watched this week. So stay in tune, stay tuned, stay tuned, I can't even talk. Stay tuned next Friday for the movies that I watch. So there you go, people. Have a lovely weekend, and keep watching those movies.